relationship rescue. Be connected rather than addicted. Hi, it's Wendy Shutworth. I'm giving some comments on weight loss and healthy living. Now, I've actually struggled with my weight quite a bit in life. I, I'm a chocoholic. I like chocolates. They're just like, you know, nice. Um, but I'm quite an active person, so I normally keep it vaguely under control. But I was reading this email that my sister sent me the other day. And it was this poor lady. I don't know who she is, but my heart goes out to her. And she says that you must go for um, colon loss, you know, where you have your colon cleansed and eat all these good things and stuff like that. And then they had this other one, this very well-known, and, and she looked really bad. She looked bad. And then they had this other one that looked really happy and a little bit plump, you know, yeah, very well known cook, TV person, but she looked happy and she looked pretty and enjoyed life. And she says, drink red wine, eat puddings and red meat. And I'm not saying that's the way to go, okay? But it's also not the way to go where you starve yourself and have no fun and you spend your life having colonoscopies and colon irrigations. And, you know, life is about balance. And, and in saying that, you know, there's anything, too much of anything is a bad thing. And if you never have something, if your body craves it, it craves it for a reason. Anyway, just to give you some uh, a strategy on when you want to eat that thing, you know that thing, that piece of chocolate. By the way, I'm taping this just after Easter. <laughs> anyway, the, the five D steps. Declare. It's five steps D for, for helping you keep control of this. Declare. In other words, I choose not to eat that just now. Say it aloud. Delay. Wait 10 minutes. The urge to eat or hunger pains will probably go away in a minute or two, especially for that specific thing. Deep breathe. This will help you to relax and think about your decision not to eat it. I mean, chocolate isn't the worst thing, but what I'm saying is moderation is important and balance and keeping your body as clean and clear as possible. Next, drink water. Often people eat because they are thirsty. So drink lots of water. Water also washes out and irrigates your system. And most of us don't drink enough. We have to make a conscious effort to drink that water. And then do something else. So instead of eating that chocolate or whatever it might be, having the extra packet of chips, God forbid drugs or something like that, go for a walk, read a book, get your mind off the food. Another saying that a good friend of mine says is um, five minutes on your lips, five inches on your hips. Hmm. I wish you joy and happiness and balance and that you live life to the fullest in a healthy way and that everything in moderation. Thank you, Wendy Shuttleworth.